Hi, beautiful, beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. I'm so excited to be back. I've been away for about four weeks. So for any newcomers, you don't know that, but welcome for any newcomers and new old comers. I'm so happy to be back. Uh, just a few things before I start here. Um, you can just skip forward to see where I start to shuffle if you don't want to hear this intro. Uh, I just want to say that during these four weeks, and we've had, we've just come out of the Lionsgate portal that was on the 8th of the 8th, and I mean, it's still ongoing because it's like we have the peak on the 12th, and it started on the 27th of July. I think it started on the 27th of July, and and we had the peak on the 8th, but it's an ongoing theme until the 12th and then it sort of closes down. So there's like a huge window there, but we had reached a peak on the 8th and um, there was just a lot of people, including myself, that was doing a lot of meditations on the 8th and it, it was just a beautiful, uh, beautiful shift going on there. I though feel that there's a beautiful sh shift going on all the time now is like one major event, although there can be minor synchronicities or minor details or min just minor things, the 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 emphasis on details there each of those things that are, that are happening right now i feel are just so they're just at the core level shifting right now and for me and with these readings um there might be something i i don't know really what uh the channel like where it's gonna go i was never your typical tarot reader uh i was you know, I'm using these cards and I'm using the astrology signs as a way of getting the message out, if that makes sense. Um, so what I might be able to do is that to just at least, and this is this is just a tip, this is just like a suggestion. If you don't feel like you resonate with it, then just drop it. But like what I've gotten lately is that, okay, instead of focusing on like you're your sun, you're your moon and you're your rising, and it's like, no, you're not. You're so much more. You're so much more. And if we look at it as a globe, the globe has their Aries somewhere in it. The globe, the earth has has Taurus. The globe has Leo, you know? Uh, the glo uh, There's a collective Scorpio here. There's a collective Scorpio. See, if I look into that, and I also, I sort of do, but I, I ask to reach out to the collective um the collect the collective for you scorpio that will resonate with this message but as like if, if you look at it as okay so as a collective we're all the 12 signs so if you feel and if you can sort of step away a little bit um from your sun moon and rising and just see like maybe maybe something stands out in the title of what i'm post posting Maybe um, there's just this feeling like today I want to listen to Gemini. You might not have one single thing as what you think of Gemini in your chart, but see what you resonate with and maybe try to sort of steer away and not be so stuck or hung up on sun, moon, or rising. And, see, and maybe for you, you just know it's the sun sign that just stands out so clearly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can never say sun sign. I'm trying to hold it together. I can just never say sun sign without sounding like a Chinese person that has a little bit of tr trouble saying a sun sign, like a, like a, like a sun sign, <laughs> like there's a sunshine outside, there's a sun sign. Um, I'm sorry, and I don't mean any disrespect, it's just I have like Tourette's when it comes to just you know, my little boy, three-year-old, uh, who's learning to talk right now, he's like, I should be I should be put behind bars or something because everything he says it sounds funny. I just have to repeat. Or I have to like move away and repeat it in silence. I just sort of have to get it out because I think it's so freaking funny. And I based my whole humor system of it on it, so maybe that's why. Anyway, interesting facts. Sun sign. So if you feel like you're and you're not ever gonna be able to hear me say sun sign without thinking about it as well or, or other readers. Um um, so if you're if you're still drawn to your sun sign, uh, please continue to listen. I'm just asking to open up a little bit more. Why I say that is that I feel so much about we are now starting to unveil, uncover, um, undo our identity, who we think our makeup is, who we think that we are, 
and we're we're uncovering it so if we try to help that uncovering by not be so rigid about no i am i am scorpio moon and therefore i will continue to listen to that and i will not incorporate anything else you know to just whatever the universe is throwing at you try to listen to it so that's what i have to say about that then i just have to say i took my uh boy to um to daycare this morning and as we were, I mean, um, spirit talks to me a lot through um, license plates on cars. Like I can have a full story going on 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 cars. It's so fun. It's just so it's just an co- ongoing conversation. It can be through animals and all other stuff, or or just straight information, or through meditation, or whatever. But there's a lot through license plates. And today. And I mean, I, I will sometimes understand what it means. And if somebody else was going to see that, they would have no clue that I that's what I got from that. Are you kidding? That's just you doing make-believe. Today, I was passing this car and the license plate itself said Scorpio. The whole freaking license plate said Scorpio. And I don't think I've ever gotten the uh, Zodiac sign written out. And, and, I, and I was like, as I, as I uh, went to daycare, I was like, wait, where are we? It's like, that's right. So next sign is probably Scorpio. Uh, so there's something to that there that it, it really is pointed out to me. It was a, like right there, Scorpio on the license plate. Um, so I don't know if you, Scorpio, you got your own license plate versus Scorpio or you, you actually saw that yourself or, or they're just pointing out how in the ethers Scorpio is right now. I, I don't know. I don't know why. But there were, it was just really... Or, or it just gets easier and easier to manifest exactly what you need. And so it was Scorpio time. And there is Scorpio was, you know, on the car. Anywho. Let's get into your message. Uh, it's going to be a general message. And we're going to do it for the month of basically all of August. And into the beginning of September. So let's see what's going on for Scorpio here, please. And you're going to have time to figure out if this is your reading. If it is, there's going to be an extension at the end of this where we're going to go deeper into the message. But you'll have time to figure that out. Scorpio, what is going on for you? there's power it's the leo card and i didn't say that to you i said that to the other signs but i feel like as a collective there's a lot of leo going on i mean obviously we have the sun in leo right now and obviously we just had the lion's gate but there's like as a collective i feel like we're moving in to leo energy which is the power like reclaiming your own power reclaiming your strength coming into your courage um, stripping away what you are not and just come into your full authenticity. Feels like there's one more that wants to talk though here. There you go. Emotional loss. Oh, well, yeah. So we're starting with this power. We can call it the power of eight. Uh, I mean, it, the infinite sign is just basically everywhere now. And since we're in the eighth month, you know, it's not it's not weird. Um, but for like an overall for you, Scorpio, it's just the infinity. It's endless possibilities stepping into your power right now, letting your true inner nature come out and shine. And then together with emotional loss, we're going to go deeper into these messages. But just as I started to say, there could be like your... Um, we're losing our identity right now and it sounds well it is bigger than it sounds i was gonna say it might, might sound bigger than it is but it is quite big you know we're we're looking at who we are not and so things right now might feel a little bit you know if you're not anchored in if you don't know your own vibration if you don't know yourself to the core of yourself. It can be a little bit of a bumpy road right now. And it can be that you're unveiling, un, un, 
covering um, this covering your inner truth and so you're losing your identity to just come to the core of who you truly are and as you remove or release or being asked right now being asked from like your inner being from the universe right now to let go of that which doesn't serve you anymore it can feel like a real emotional loss it can also be people that are crossing over over right now choosing to go a different route choosing to to go a different path uh, where there's obviously emotional loss but we're gonna look deeper into this um, can we just clarify why the power card is here for Scorpio please power card for Scorpio the world do you want another one another one <clears throat> there you go. and another five. Oh, oh there oh okay so um we're clarifying uh, both of them at the same time uh, the world card a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight so this to me is literally ending the old world this is ending the old era when i picked this name the new era i didn't know how correct i was <laughs> um it's just you know yeah you've ended a, a big cycle in your life uh we're ending a big cycle as a collective we're ending the old earth and we're coming stepping into the new earth and you're very very happy to do so you're very like some people are just really struggling to move on from the past or struggling to uh they just don't want to let go of the past there's a little bit of um okay so for some of you guys and i just want to clarify this because i feel like and this is not going to be for all of you but for some of you guys it feels like you just started to get the hang of the 3D world manifestation, if that makes sense. Like, as you have just started to understand, okay, if I do this and this, like 1 plus 1 equals 2. So if I just stick to this formula, um, I'm going to be able to create more money or I'm going to be able to create a car or a house or a relationship or, you know, or there's this experience that you want to bring about or want to manifest into your life. Like very 3D... Um, uh like wizard magician like this is what i want to do and it's almost like um <laughs> as as you just is like as you just have started to come to grips with it as you just started to like okay i think i get a hang of it now we're supposed to we're supposed to move into 5d like can i just please have an afternoon where i just get to enjoy my my super outlandish house can i just have you know can i just have six months where i just get to actually feel rich and just have an abundance of money and just you know do we have to move on as i just got this and so there's like a little bit of a mix inside of you i understand this a little bit more now as well it's like being clarified in, in several ways um it's like yeah you want to let go of the old you're so happy to let go of the old the majority of you are so happy to let go of the old and coming into the new um but there's some sort of and i just want to i want to clear that up where you're going where you're going it's just it doesn't end what you're going to be able to to manifest so you you don't have to worry like okay so we hear these stories and maybe i don't know if you heard those stories and that's why it's so crucial right now to lose your identity and go to who you truly be in this world who you truly are innately authentically are in the world um 
because when we start to hear these stories, we hear these, uh, you know, there are people coming in from left and right and talking about various things that's going to happen as we make these changes, as we go from a third dimensional experience into a fifth dimensional experience, it's like this and this and this is going to happen. Like all the money is going to disappear. We're going to move into different, um, different ways of exchanging, like almost reversed, like going back into, okay, if I have a sheep, do you have a pillow? <laughs> Can I get, can I get a pillow for your sheep? What? That's me getting twice, two things. Um, you know what I mean? No. Is that true? Well, I can't swear 100%. It's not what I feel though. It's not my inner truth. It's not my authenticity. That's not what I'm being given through my guides. So sit in meditation, do whatever you can. To sort of follow your truth right now because there's so many truths out there right now um so if we just stick to the majority here to the collective feel here is that we are ending the old world that we're ending the old earth and we're stepping into a new one and you've come full circle in everything that you were supposed to learn everything that you wanted to learn and know about until up until this point and it makes you shape shift it makes you come back into your authentic power and then we have another um five clarifying the other five we have the emotional loss here this situation is this on the bottom this situation doesn't serve you release your attachment to the outcome consider taking a more uplifting approach so there's something about um uh trying to so release, release your attachment to the outcome. As you start to release, and it can, and as you release, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have sat down and said, and said, I want to release my identity. This might even be the first time that you hear somebody talk about losing your identity. So, but it can be that you're in a situation right now, or you're finding yourself in situations, situations right now, where you're. Uh, inspired to move away from certain relationships, to even move away from certain job situations, to move away from um, friends or just overall situations that doesn't serve your higher good or doesn't serve where you're going. And that is a release of your identity as well. And that could be like, you can feel really emotional about it. Like there's an emotional loss there. Uh, it can be people leaving you that you sort of didn't say that you wanted. Maybe you were in a relationship and they just left or or this friend, you think that they're behaving weirdly and just starting to move away from you is to create this opportunity for you to do, just really clear out what isn't you and for you to sort of put your hand in it and sort of try to decide how this is going to pan out, how this is going to be it doesn't serve you uh, because nobody knows the outcome. We know the outcome when it comes to pure love and joy and freedom and um, feeling um, our innate nature. So if we just stick to sort of the emotional body's way of looking at things and what we're reaching, you're good. But if you're trying to figure out exactly like how it's going to look, who's going to be there, who's not going to be there, who am I supposed to let go of? who's who's um who's also interested in, in making some sort of ascension process right now you know if if you're stuck in that it's going to be tough and there's something with this card also that okay th there might be certain things that you are being inspired right now to let go of to surrender to to give to higher power and it's a little bit of always when i get this five of michael it's a little bit of sweeping it under the rug like you don't like la, 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 la. I don't want to listen to that right now. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that right now. And if it's leaving a relationship, I understand that. Or if it's leaving a job, I understand that. If there's, um, it can also be like uh, letting go of belief systems right now. Or, or you know, like sweeping it under the rug can also be you feel it in your bones, Scorpio, that it's time to do meditation. Like it's just time to sit in stillness and just be one with your inner being. And you're just, for the life of you, finding so many different things to do besides just sitting down and being quiet. 
or going out in nature or just be, you know, just be still with yourself. There's a little bit of sweeping under the rug thing going on. So just be honest with yourself. What is it that you feel right now would really benefit you that you are like, Mwah. it's going to be hard. Like, I'm gonna, like, is that some sort of addiction? Is there an addiction that you probably like, you know, it in your heart that it doesn't serve you to continue to do this, whatever this is, you know, too much of anything, too much consumption of anything. It's an, it's a trigger because it's an emotional attachment. You know, I mean, when I, <laughs> many, many years ago, uh, one of my sisters, um, she was trying to quit smoking. She was so not ready to quit smoking. And, um, you know, she had, <laughs> I don't even know if she had quit smoking or if she was just thinking about it. And um, so we were talking, whether it was like in person or on the phone or whatever, we, were, we, ha we had a conversation and almost in the middle of the conversation, she starts to cry. It's like, what's wrong? Like, what's going on? I know, like, what, where does this come from? And she's like, well, it's going to be my birthday in about a month. And when I have my birthday in about a month, I'm not going to be able to smoke. And then it's not going to be fun to have coffee. It's not going to be fun to have, like, it's not even going to be fun to celebrate my birthday. Because I don't get to smoke. It was such an attachment for her. It was so, so emotional. I know I'm making fun of her, but, but and she's, um, yeah, let's not get into that. Um, she, she had a real emotional attachment to it. It was like her friend. She was like, it's like my little buddy. I, I get to go away and I just get to have my little buddy and just, um, it's just, it's just me and this little buddy. And you know, nothing tastes better when, when you had a meal and then you get, and I was like, don't, don't talk it, don't talk it up. Don't promote it. You know, if you want to quit doing it, quit doing it, but don't promote it to, to, you know, so there's something that doesn't serve you that you need to let go of and you're sweeping it under the rug a little bit. It can be anything for you. Like I said, it can be leaving a relationship. It can be like to let go of some sort of overconsumption of something it can be that you should start to do something that you know is beneficial for you but as you start to do that you feel that mm, well as I start to do that I might have to do some changes because I feel like as I put myself in balance there's gonna be blah 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 so be honest with yourself there's two number fives coming out here so you are overcoming obstacles there's great opportunity for change and you're coming into your mastery I'm going to move into the extension and see what else I can find there for you. This is like you ending the old, completely ending the old, reclaiming your power, your authentic, real you. Um, looking at some things here that we want to perhaps let go of or perhaps start. So that's the overall there. So if you feel like you resonate with that, you're so, so welcome to the extension. We're going to go deeper into this and then see what else um, the guides wants to bring to you about the situation so the link to that is in the description box down, down below if not thank you so much for watching listening and i hope to see you back soon scorpio take care guys